Day 14, home again. Sure enough, the next morning, each child woke in their own bed, in their own time. In fact, not even a single day had passed. Was it just a dream? Never had each of the four friends gotten out of bed so quickly. They raced around their homes in search of family for big hugs. Their parents were surprised to hug them back. All four were ready for school early to share with each other the strange but wonderful dream. The next time the four children saw each other was at recess. Each seemed a little shy. What seemed so real now seemed fanciful. Finally, Robert dropped the soccer ball the four of them had been playing with. Okay, I had the weirdest dream and all of you were in it. I can't seem to stop thinking about it. I did too, exclaimed James. We looked all over Ireland for a ragged robin, said Susan with white eyes. Hexagon rocks, whispered James. The four children stared at each other, play forgotten. How was it possible? That afternoon, their teacher brought in a friend so the kids could see and play with her dog. The kids went out to the playground. Dog was an Irish wolfhound. He made his rounds to all the children. The teacher's friend told them about Irish wolfhounds, showing how big they were. Of course, the kids already knew. As they left, the wolfhound turned around. He looked at each of the four friends and winked. Epilogue. Years later, when Susan most needed encouragement, she found a perfectly pressed ragged robin in an old journal. It was what she needed to complete her studies in herbalism. Jane never seemed to lose her ability to understand animals. Although she never talked about it, she became a veterinarian. Susan guessed her secret. When asked if she ate the salmon on the last day, Jane simply smiled and shook her head. James decided the whole thing was being a dream. He became a forensic scientist. One day, he found an old journal in the attic with a map of their adventures. For fun, he tested the bit of dirt from the wolfhound's paw print. The test proved it came from Ireland. Robert never doubted. He drew on the memories when he needed a little magic. And when he needed a little more, he booked the plane to Ireland. Well, friends, the fire is nearly out. The wind is picking up. I smell rain on the horizon. And the story is at an end. I hope you can join me for another story sometime in the future. It's a kitty in a gum in the shed, may you fast a goose a young. I'm Man, I will fail.